All right, Mr. Kim Block, can you please tell me why you brought me to this underground garage? Dream garage. We got a mountain bike dream garage. <laughs> All right. It's nice having an RS200 and a, a Can Am Maverick X3 Max sitting in it too. This is like my space that I get to control, like what I dreamt of as a kid. My toys, my space, it has everything that I need for. GoPros and dog leashes and all that. Everything that if I'm gonna go out and do something specific with my bikes and my kids and my wife, it's all right here. Oh yeah, well let's go check it out. By yeah. the way, first and foremost, I like that you got the family sedan here, okay? <laughs> so uh, one of 200 RS 200s. It is a Group B rally car. <laughs> Along with a Can-Am Maverick X3 four door with a bike rack on it so that we can go out and shuttle around on some of the trails here in Park City. This is the first time I've ever seen one of your vehicles with this much tread on it, so. <laughs> we live in the snow. Most of the winter, there's snow on the ground here. We're out snowboarding. We're walking to and from the lifts from here, so we have a mud room that we come in and out of. Everyone in the family has their own locker that you keep all your snow gear in from you know, all your gear, your, your boots, your helmet, all that sort of stuff. It keeps it all nice and organized in this mudroom, but we didn't have that for bikes. And so we had bike crap all over the place. Helmets, gear, pads. So I wanted to organize everything in one place. So that's why I came up with this. So these are all lockers, one for each kid and my wife. Each family member has a locker. That's the daddy locker. Yeah. Helmets. Gloves, glasses, DC shoes, couple different pair I wear for, these are used for downhill, use these for pedaling. Okay. Helmets is my downhill helmet and goggles. Nice GoPro backpack. They just made a very nice backpack that works well as a bladder for drinking out on a long ride. Oh, this is a GoPro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Key to my life. I do. So, I like organization, I like garages that can be very organized. This whole thing here was a big part of that. But then also having like a nice workbench, uh, you know, with drawers for, you know, basic tools. And we don't do a huge amount of work on the bikes here, but we do do enough to where we can maintain them. It's just a great way to be able to organize that stuff. Sonax makes great cleaning supplies. And if I'm gonna go out with the dogs, we got plenty of Wolfgang stuff here, collars and harnesses, and, and then GoPro, a nice wall of GoPro stuff. And of course, nice big monster fridge here. Mm -hmm. Lots of a variety of drinks. And then uh, some stuff for my wife's shop elements. This is a nice dream setup. Just to be able to keep everything organized for bike riding, because we do a lot of that here in the center. This is an impressive bike wall. And this isn't even all, this isn't even all of them. <laughs> Specialized has been a great partner for me and the team. They've given us a lot of bikes over the years. I say we pull each one of these down and we'll kind of go through the coolest elements of some of these bikes and show them off. Let's go through my top five. So this is my newest bike, 2019 Specialized Demo 8 Carbon Fiber. This livery uh, it was actually painted and done at Troy Lee's shop in Corona. So Troy Lee did my livery on the Kazi version two that I'm racing this year. So Specialized wanted to make this bike match that car. They sent the frame, I had the rear swing arm to Troy. He painted all and then Fox Shocks did a lot of work on this full setup and made some little graphics. This is full downhill. Yeah, full downhill. This is basically a dirt bike without an engine. Did a specialized did a couple sets of nice custom pedals for me. This is one of the raddest bikes I've ever had in my entire life. This is a specialized stump jumper FSR 6 fat. Specialized built me this one after they saw 
Gymkhana 8 from Dubai. This livery on my Fiesta was black on black. This particular pattern is reflective. So part of it's flat black and the other part's reflective black. So it's actually one of my favorite liveries too. The pattern here on top is actually from a falcon, a falcon feather. Falcon earrings, very big in Dubai. Wanted to make a unique and fun livery for that car, but also use some inspiration from Dubai. The Six Fatty is what they call these tires. So it's a wider tire. It's a 27 and a half inch tire, but with a, a wider footprint. When you're pedaling, it rolls over the train really well, but also under braking, like it gets a lot of grip. Mm -hmm. And because I'm a race car driver, I like to focus on grip. I never like to lock up and skid tires. So these really give me the opportunity to really feel grip and really get a good amount of braking. And it's got, you know, lockout suspension. So going downhill, I have a really nice soft setting for the, the back suspension. And going uphill, flip the switch right here, and it goes back to being quite stiff in the back. So climbing uphills is easier. This really is. One of my favorite bikes for just general pedaling around town, up in some of the basic trails that we have right around the house here. It really is an enjoyable bike. This particular Specialized is an Enduro Evo, full carbon fiber build, and the graphics on it are from my 2016 livery by Philippe Pantone. So this bike in particular actually handles downhill stuff better. You can push a button here, sit down hard on the seat, and oh, gotta go back uphill and start pedaling. Just pop the button again, the seat goes right back up. And another cool feature about this bike too is uh, the frame down here is actually hollow. And this piece right here opens up and there's actually a spare tube in here and some spare parts. This is the first bike that I ever had with 29 inch wheels. So these are a bigger wheel, it really rolls over stuff faster, and I'm not convinced one is better than the other, I like both. One of my favorite liveries, graphics, adapted to a bike in a very special way. So we got a death spray piece here. Now this particular bike is a specialized stump jumper from 2018. So this livery was done by Desperate Custom. He hand painted this in England. And this graphic is off my Kazi version one that I raced and happened to burn to the ground with this livery on, unfortunately. But Desperate likes to be very fun and creative uh, with what he does, so. As you can see, there's a, a logo here that says Ink Car, which is a version of our Ink Care logo. Insane. A kill all tires graphic on the rims, on these oh, yeah. lovely carbon fiber rims. And that's in a font that Desiree made. And one really special thing about this particular bike is that this, you know, off-white color is actually glow in the dark. Once it's charged by light, you turn the lights off, it will glow for several hours. Sick. Nice, nice job on the radioactive paint, Desperate. Desperate came up with that. I thought, hell yeah, that's a, that'll make this bike yeah, very unique. Now these got these monster gears in the rear here. Is that just to make it nice and easy to... Yeah, it's, it's definitely a bit lighter, more of a pedal bike. It does handle the downhill stuff quite well. You know, only a single gear in the front, but all the gear changing goes on in the rear. It's also got the uh, another set of my custom pedals from Specialized. But this is just a beautiful build, one of my favorite bikes. This is a bike I've been riding the most recently. You can see that, just did that little. <laughs> yeah, it's still a little dirty. None of these bikes sit in the garage and do nothing. They all, I get out and ride every single one of them. And if I'm not riding them, like I have several downhill bikes, I, you know, my friends are right now. One last special bike. And we don't need our bike stand for this one. Nice, right, so let's check it out. Side hack. First of all, a couple things. One, metal flake paint. 
Two, you got a handbrake on it, and I take it, does this have two motors on it? No. Or is that just the battery there? Well, the battery is just for the pedal assist. There's variations in how much power and specialized system that you can program into how much it assists you push. Okay. This is just pedal assist. It's not like you can just like lean no, on it. There's and... no throttle per se. There's no button you push to just go. Mm -hmm. You pedal and basically the motor, the battery and the motor assists how much power that you have to drive for. So it's, it's a, a bit of a novelty, but it's quite cool. So this is something that Specialized built for us. Like it was a total surprise. Oh, this is all, all this is hand painted. Yeah, so this is painted at Specialized by Brian Shizkowney, also known as Swizz Made. Paint scheme is called Lightning Bolts and Nuts, pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. It's a specialized Turbo S and a specialized Fat Boy combined. The side hack is completely removable. So you can remove you know, this side of it completely and ride around as a regular bike. Never done that because I think it's too rad the way it is. Oh yeah. All right, we're done with that. Oh yeah. Enough of the uh, beauty shots, let's go take a ride. We're gonna do a bit of downhill stuff, so we're gonna shuttle the Can-Am, and I suggest you take one of these two downhill lights. Shit, all right. So you can go with the... Uh, I'll go with Death Spray. 2017 Death Spray. Yeah. yeah? But we also have the Galaxy light. Mr. Director Man John, you, you, uh, you, <laughs> you, wanna ride, you, wanna, you wanna ride the Galaxy light? Yeah, let's go to outer space. All right. That handbrake works real well. <laughs> yeah. So we have an, a nice, fun little run down this little valley. Use the Can-Am to shuttle back up. Stoked to be able to take you out. Hell yeah, man. Ride. Yeah, thanks for bringing me All out. Right, let's, uh, let's gear up and have some fun. Like, yeah. All right. Let's do it.